Hello and welcome to the UCL Light Switch On event. We are here live from Jeffrey Hall in the IOE. As you can see, we've had a bit of a festive makeover in here. We've got some nice trees and lights up, so we are definitely feeling festive. Uh, we're your hosts for the evening. I'm Isabel, I'm a current student at UCL, and this is Abby. She's a recent graduate and she also works at UCL. Hi everyone and thanks Isabel. Welcome to today's live stream. It's so great to have so many of you tuning in from all over the world. Uh, we know it's going to be different this year but we guarantee it's still going to be a great light switch on and we've got a great evening of live performances. We've got UCL Jazz Society and UCL Live Music Society. We're also going to have some messages from members of the UCL community and the thing that many of you I'm sure have tuned on for to find out who has won our special iPad this year, brand new iPad. We had a competition running all about Christmas traditions, holiday traditions, what people do to celebrate this time of year. We've had some really, really good interest, uh, interesting entries. Isabel, what would you say is your favorite holiday tradition that you do with your family or friends? Um, so this one I actually don't take part in, um, but I'm from Cornwall, so the end of England, it's famously very coastal. Um, and every year there's a Christmas Day swim at a local beach and you do it, no wetsuit, just a regular bathing suit. It's very, very cold, which is why my family don't partake, but I would love to do that because it does just look very fun. <laughs> Maybe this can be the year, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not from the coast, I'm actually from Birmingham and I feel like trying to do a morning swim on Christmas Day in a canal, despite how many of them there are, would be quite unpleasant. My family's a lot more about the eating, so we just kind of get up, big breakfast, mm. big dinner. <laughs> And that's Christmas. A healthy balance. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you've got any other kind of traditions or celebrations that you and your family or you and your friends get up to every year. Isabel, I think we're about ready for our first yeah. act. So if we are going to hand over to the Jazz Society. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much to UCL Jazz Society. I think we can all agree that was a great way to kick off the show this evening. To people that have joined us during that time, welcome to the UCL Light Switch On 2020. It's going to be virtual this year. It is virtual this year. I'm told that they're almost ready in the quad to go live, so we're going to see the Light Switch On very soon. But before we do that, we're going to head over to our Students' Union Democracy Operations and Community Officer, Carol Page. Thank you so much, Abby. So I think it's safe to say that things are different this year. And for most of us, this will be a different Christmas or winter break. It's important to remember that this is a time for rest and a time for connecting with both family and friends. But the way that that connection will happen will be different this year. And I can't stress enough how important it is to follow the guidance and to stay safe so that future festive periods can be a bit more normal. Parts of UCL will stay open throughout the winter break and there will be support for students who need it. The Students' Union will be holding events every day throughout the winter break so that you can still connect with others even if you're remaining in London. It's been a tough year and we all deserve a break. We need time to process the hectic year that 2020 has been and we need to look forward to 2021. At this time of year, I reflect on the things and people that helped me and got me through the year. And that list is the longest that it's ever been. For me, it was the small things, like just looking over at my partner between meetings and having group chats with friends for the sole purpose of sending wholesome memes to each other. I think we all knew the importance of human interaction before this year, but 2020 has really brought it into sharp focus. So give a loved one a call or send a wholesome meme to a friend and connect with someone. UCL and the Students' Union will be welcoming you back to campus in January, and we've got a lot planned that we can't wait to share with you. I hope you have a restful, festive period. Stay safe, and I'll see you next year. And I'll now hand over to Professor Michael Arthur, our President and Provost, for his festive message. Hello, my name is Professor Michael Arthur, and I'm the President and Provost of UCL. Uh, it's my very great pleasure to contribute uh, to the uh, formal opening uh, of the festive period uh, as demonstrated by the ceremonial uh, lighting uh, of this year's Christmas tree. Let's face it, it's been a really difficult year for everybody uh, due to COVID-19 across the country and the impacts that it's had uh, on the university. Uh, very early on, we took the a view that we had to look after our people, our staff uh, and our students um, and demonstrate clear uh, evidence of humanity. I, I hope you think that we've done that. It therefore is my uh, honour to lead the institution and to lead uh, us in thanks to all of you, uh, all staff, all students, uh, it's been a difficult year, but we've all put our shoulders to the wheel. We've worked together. We've been a real community, um, and I'm very grateful to everyone for that. I do want to pay particular tribute to some groups of staff, uh, if you like, the unsung heroes. Uh, our security staff, uh, always a friendly face at the front door, to our cleaning staff uh, and to our catering staff. Uh, you've played a key role in looking after everyone on campus uh, over the last few months and I want to take this opportunity to thank you. It is um, a time of year where hopefully uh, there's a bit more time to relax and recuperate after a very difficult period um, and where possible to spend time with family. I recognise, of course, that not everybody can see their family this Christmas. So for those of you that can't, let's hope that you find a way to relax uh, and enjoy uh, this festive period. Our thoughts are definitely uh, with you. Uh, it's at this point uh, that most uh, vice chancellors, provosts, mayors, uh, MPs, etc., are asked to throw the switch to light the Christmas tree. 
uh, I'm conscious of a wonderful compilation that I saw on the BBC the other day of errors that can occur uh, during such a process, uh, including, you know, plunging the plunger uh, and the lights coming on before the plunger's even touched, or even worse, the lights not coming on when the plunger is, uh, is put down. So whoever is throwing uh, the actual switch, please get your timing right. Here is the switch from me. Uh, enjoy your festive period. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much to Carol and to Professor Michael Arthur for those wonderful messages of good hope and cheer. Um, Isabel, what do you think? Do we think the quad looks better than ever this year? Definitely. I am a huge, huge fan um, of the light bulbs and the trees. I think that's a really nice touch as well. Yeah, I mean, I've been at UCL for however many years now as a student, as a staff member, and every year it seems to be better than the last, and it marks such an important time in the calendar where you can tell that we've made it through another year and we've got more exciting things to come. We've had some excellent, interesting entries for the competition and also in the comments about the importance of Christmas or holiday films during this time of year. Mm -hmm. Isabel, have you got a favourite Christmas film? Um, see, if you'd asked me this a few years ago, it would definitely have been different uh, but for me at the moment, it's The Grinch, uh, because you know when you watch it when you're a child and The Grinch is a really scary character, um, like very mean, kind of evil, uh, and then when you watch it back when you're an adult and you think, uh, <laughs> I don't think it was that bad, uh, and I feel like I can, more, I can relate more to The Grinch now, <laughs> which I say in my festive attire. Um, I definitely get what you mean. When I watch Home Alone now, I always just find myself thinking about how much of a nice house he's in, and I would quite like it if one day I could have a house that nice. But here we are in London, and as UCL students, we'll stay with the rental market for mm. now. I think it's about time for us to hand over to our next fantastic student act this evening, the very wonderful Live Music Society. Take it away. Christmas Eve, babe, in the drunk tank, an old man said to me, won't see another one, and then he sang a song, the rare old mountain dew, I turned my face away, and dreamed about you come on a lucky one came in 18 to 1 I've got a feeling this year's for me and you so happy Christmas I love you baby I can see a better time when all our dreams come true. Me, Broadway was waiting for me. You were hot so 
were pretty queen of New York City When, when the, the band finished playing, playing they held up for more Sinatra was swinging, all the drunks they were singing We kissed on the corner, then on through the night The boys of the NYPD were still singing the way bay And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day You're an old hag on junk lying there, almost dead, almost drinking that bed. You scum back your tool, you cheap lousy fool. Happy Christmas, you're our side, pray God it's our last. The, the boys of the NYPD choir still singing, go away, bay. And the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. Could have been someone. Well, so could anyone. You took my dreams from me when I first found you. I kept them with me, babe. I put them with my own. Can do this on my own. I built my dreams around you. The boys of the NYP. Still singing, go away, bay, and the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day.
that's pretty clever, don't you, boy? Flying on your motorcycle, watching all the ground beneath you drop. Kill yourself for recognition, kill yourself to never. Trying up in conversation, you'll be the one they cannot talk. All your insights fall to pieces. You just sit there wishing you could still make love. They're the ones who hate you when you think you got the world. The best thing that you ever had, the best thing that you ever, ever had. It's the best thing that you ever had, the best thing that you had is gone away. Well, thank you very much to Live Music Society. That was an incredible performance, uh, a great set list with some festive songs, as well as just others celebrating the talent that we have here at UCL. I did have to stop myself singing along, but unfortunately that's not why I've been given a mic this evening. Anyway, um, what a lot of people I'm sure are excited for, we are now moving on to announcing the winner of our competition for the iPad. So, Abby, I don't know if you want to do that for us. Yeah, I almost feel like if I can get the drummer back on stage to do a drum roll really quickly. Can you do it? Let's Come on, drummer, drummer, drummer. Because I think, as we know, it's always better with a bit of drama. <laughs> better than slapping the knees to do yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't really go on camera if I just do a drum roll on my knees. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you. OK, the winner of this year's brand new iPad is First year student, Mirtil Salga, who tells us that her favorite Christmas tradition is meeting up with their family every year to eat totot uh, kapashta, which I'm told is like a stuffed cabbage thing and is very delicious. It certainly sounds it. So congratulations. We'll be in touch about how you can claim your prize. Back to Isabel. Yeah, well, I think what we have left to say really is thank you all for watching. Thank you to everybody for our Christmas messages, our festive messages. Um, our amazing talents here at UCL. Uh, it's been a really great evening for us. I'm sure you've enjoyed it as well. And if you are in London over Christmas and you have the opportunity to get down to the quad and see our festive lights, um, obviously in a COVID secure manner, 
uh, then I really, really recommend it. They are amazing this year. Just every year they get better. Absolutely. And it only remains for us to say we hope you have a wonderful festive period this year, that you do something to celebrate at this time of year. At the end of what has been, we have to say, a very difficult year for everybody involved. Um, have a great rest of the evening. Have a wonderful 2021. And we'll see you when you're next at UCL. Bye. Bye.